Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the West. More specifically, we are back on Hollywood Boulevard, one of the loudest, noisiest streets in the United States. I hope that you can hear me. But I figured we'd come out back here to the Hollywood Boulevard, a lot going on out here. And uh, one thing that strikes me about Hollywood Boulevard is that there are two of the, the, the most famous wax museums here within a quarter of a mile of each other. We have Madame Tussauds right here, one of the most famous chains of wax museums. And then the other most famous chain of wax museums, the Hollywood Wax Museum. The original Hollywood Wax Museum is just uh, down the road just a little bit, less than a quarter of a mile. So I figured out tonight we check out both Madame Tussauds Wax Museum as well as the Hollywood Wax Museum. We're going to start here with Madame Tussauds. So please follow me. I have the little open lobby here in front of Madame Tussauds where you can uh, see a, a smattering of wax figures for free. Now they used to have King Kong reaching out right here, but it looks like he has been replaced by the Hulk. That's actually, getting up close, that's actually a really cool Hulk. I did love the King Kong. He used to be here with a big outstretched hand, but now we just have the Hulk bursting out of the wall like the uh, Kool-Aid Man. And over here we have Marilyn Monroe, and look, she's wearing the dress. This is the uh, classic dress she sang, happy birthday to JFK while wearing, and then uh, I think a year or so ago, it was worn by Kim Kardashian, a very controversial move. This is not the real dress here, this is a reproduction. The real dress is owned by Ripley's. I think they may actually have it on display right now, just down the street at their Ripley's. But I actually, if you watch back my videos, when I toured, the Ripley Warehouse actually got a private viewing of uh, this very dress, or the replica, the, the real dress, not the not the replica. And a very popular basketball player, Mr. Kobe Bryant there. And this man here, I think is now officially just in every single movie, that is The Rock. Of course, my best memories of The Rock come from uh, the 90s, back when he was wrestling in WWE. Happy for the success, but uh, man, I would love to, uh, Love to have him back in wrestling. And I have purchased my ticket. We have now made it into the paid section of the museum. And look who we are greeted by, Mr. Danny Trejo. <laughs> you see there's a wonderful tattoo art there. One of, you know, one of the most terrifying human beings. But actually, I don't think he's terrifying in real life. From everything I've seen, he does have some, he does have a, a scary past. But from everything I've seen, he's in a good place. Fairly nice individual, just plays incredibly scary men. Hey, wait a minute. Am I, am I taller than Danny Trejo? All these years I've been so terrified of him that I didn't know that I was actually taller than him. And I'm not tall. And this is the part of the video where I tell you that uh, I am, I, I, I do have, is there are certain gaps in my pop culture literacy. So uh, if, I, if I misidentify someone or don't recognize someone, please leave a comment in the comment section. According to that plaque on the wall, though, this is Kylie Jenner, and I only sort of know who that is. I think, I think she's related to Kim Kardashian somehow. And there we have the ubiquitous angel wing uh, photo op. Get into the elephant. Oh, why is Vogue backwards? Oh, okay. So I can, I can uh, point the camera at the mirror here and see myself on the cover of Vogue, which I think is some sort of magazine. The curtain opens, and we are okay. We are released into the celebrity room. Here is Johnny Depp appearing in standard human form. Often he does appear in wax museums in his pirate form. And we have uh, Morgan Freeman there. He appears in a. Uh, many uh, fine movies. Of course, one of the main appeals to the Madame Tussauds museums is that you have the celebrities are not necessarily in tableaus. They're just standing out in the open. You can get you know, your selfies, your pictures made with a celebrity. Come back, from, come back from Hollywood and tell all your friends 
I met George Lopez, and here's a picture to prove it. Lord, there. All these celebrities out here partying. You look over there, sitting in the corner is the world's grumpiest man, Mr. Simon Cowell, who likes to badmouth people and, and crap on people's dreams. You stay in the corner, you bad man. And Madame Dussault is known for a certain level of, uh, of quality, as you can see the detail there in, uh, in Mr. Elton John's face. And there we have Mr. Conan O'Brien. I was absolutely obsessed with the uh, old Conan O'Brien show on NBC. I think I got a lot of my humor from watching that. You can see that you sit next to him and he points at you and he's like, hey, I like this guy. Now, I may be taller than Danny Trejo, but Conan O'Brien is a towering giant even when he's even when he's sitting down. Look at that. I have a champagne tower right there. And then we have Miss Ariana Grande. You know, one time she snuck into a donut shop and then she licked all the donuts thinking that no one uh, was watching. Mr. Ryan Reynolds there, he plays the Deadpool. Here we have an interactive Jimmy Kimmel experience. I know this is new. I do not remember the interactive Jimmy Kimmel experience. So I guess he's uh, telling us to come in uh, this way and uh, we have to record an interview here in front of the uh, green screen. I have to hit this and then I can record an interview with Jimmy Kimmel. All right, so here in the balcony they have a screen here where they uh, broadcast the interview I just I just did. Oh, there I am. There we go. This is Zoe Zaldana, and I honestly, honestly don't know who she is. Maybe I've seen her in something. I just, I'm not familiar with Zoe Zaldana. I guess this is their newest figure here. We have a. Uh, Little Nas X wearing a golden suit of, uh, of armor there. You, know, you can look at his, his teeth. He's got some, uh, some diamond grills. There's Jason Derulo. He's actually leaping out of the wall there. I'm not sure the significance of his wall leaping there. I don't know if he's known, uh, he known for his impressive leap. Here we have Rihanna. Looks like her bikini is made out of out of candy. Now there we have Daniel Craig back here, Mr. Brad Pitt, and then this is Angela Bassett. And again, these figures, these figures are so, so realistic. You can kind of see how, uh, how well that is done. Oh no, who, who, uh, who invited him? It's, uh, it's Jimmy Fallon. Oh man. So we have movie star. Meryl Streep. Yeah, look at the, the lines on her face. It's a really, really well crafted. The Julia Roberts uh, photo op here. I guess you can pose in the frame behind her or you can sit in the chair. And who's this? All the way in the back, hanging out by the bar. Oh, hanging out by the bar. We have uh, former president Barack Obama still as a uh, cheerful as always. Here inside the restroom it says, have time to poo, then you have time to review. Almost like you have time to lean, you have time to clean. Time to poo, time to review. They want you to sit on the toilet pooping, on your phone, reviewing reviewing this attraction. It says this way Ace, and we have Ace Ventura pointing us in the right way. Oh yeah, we have the history of Hollywood here. It's hosted by uh, Joan Rivers. Here we have Johnny Grant. Now uh, it says he was the honorary mayor of Hollywood. I guess not the actual mayor of Hollywood, but I guess a, uh, a individual that uh, that uh, helped advocate for uh, for Hollywood. I, I don't know. I don't know what is the history behind Johnny Grant. Why is he important? And there we have Charlie Chaplin and, oh yes, I didn't know if they would have the props anymore, 
or not. Some of the wax museums uh, did away with props during the pandemic, but uh, we got uh, we got some props that can enhance our experience here with the uh, with the figures. So, uh, what are we, what are we doing tonight? Marlena Dietrichs. Here is Betty Davis. I don't know that much about classic uh, old school Hollywood, so I'm really not sure. Definitely heard the name Betty Davis, but uh, not sure what role this is. Or maybe this is just, she just like hanging around, getting drunk and smoking cigarettes, I don't know. And now we enter the golden age of Hollywood. And who's in the center of the room? None other than Miss, uh, Judy Garland, Dorothy Gale herself. Here is Gloria Swanson. Again, not sure, not sure. Uh, I don't know that much about Gloria Swanson. I don't know why she's got this glitter all over her face, and I don't know why she's doing the Danhausen uh, curse pose characters from Gone with the Wind. I do remember, uh, I do know Clark Gable because my grandmother used to have a picture of him uh, above her bed. And there we have James Dean leaned up against this uh, airplane looking super cool. And there is uh, the aviator, Howard Hughes. And Mr. Howard Hughes, is it true? Is it true that you would save jars of your own urine? Here's Charlton Heston from the uh, Ten Commandments where he played Moses. You can see the lightning clashing behind him. Let my people go and get your damn dirty hands off me, you damn dirty ape. This is Humphrey Bogart from the African Queen. Had a little boat together, Catherine Hepburn. Battle, battle. This is uh, Jimmy Stewart from It's a Wonderful Life, which used to be a classic Christmas movie. I don't know, uh, I feel like people don't watch uh, It's a Wonderful Life on Christmas anymore. We have Alfred Hitchcock. You can see uh, there's the sh classic shower scene behind him from Psycho, but also some birds up there from Birds. So I guess maybe he's doing the ultimate mashup, Psycho Birds. Here we have Marilyn Monroe right there, and behind her you can see another Americana icon, Mr. Elvis Presley with his comically oversized guitar. Admittedly, I've never seen the movie, but uh, why does uh, why does she have breakfast at Tiffany's? Isn't Tiffany's like a like a jewelry store? And there we have Elizabeth Taylor playing uh, Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. This is Raquel Welch dressed as a cave woman since she was in a movie called uh, One Million BC. Apparently, uh, it was some sort of cave person movie. There's Peter O'Toole from uh, Lawrence of Arabia here with uh, with a friendly camel. Looks like we can actually uh, climb aboard the camel there. Into the western sections, have some uh, movie cow pokes in here. This is uh, Robert Redford and Paul Newman. And I think that is Robert Redford and that is Paul Newman. Get off my lawn. Interesting fact about John Wayne actually got cancer filming a movie at the Trinity site where uh, nuclear bombs were tested. And in that movie he was actually playing Genghis Khan, which is just really strange all around. So we leave the Westerns heading into the horror section, Illusions of Horror. We have uh, Bela Lugosi there as Dracula. Unfortunately, he's standing right next to a curtain of garlic with a cross in the middle, which is a horrible place for a vampire to be standing. And there is Frankenstein, son of Dr. Frankenstein, who is his father, and he is also named Frankenstein. Some people call him the Frankenstein's monster, but I think it's fine to just call him Frankenstein, especially since his dad is Dr. Frankenstein. So I think it's fair enough that they're both Frankenstein. Oh, it's a very spooky mummy here in this sarcophagus. 
This is home is where the horror is above this uh, television set. Oh, it just came on. What's, what, what show are we watching? Is Oh, the creepy hand show. I hate this one. And uh, here we have a photo op from The Shining where you can be Jack Torrance sticking his head through the, the, the door with an ax. Although, to get to this, you have to walk all the way back to the, uh, to the western section. So, uh, duh. I have to hike over there and uh, and uh, put my head through the door. And the Hannibal Ector uh, photo op. You actually you actually have a straight jacket here that uh, that you can put on. Next up is the blockbuster era. Who's greeting us here? It's uh, oh, it's Al Al Pacino and Robert De Niro posing here for uh, for their mug shots. I guess you could pose with them, but to pick uh, pick one of these uh, one of these. What do you call these things? What do you call the things you hold when you're being booked? Dustin Hoffman, I think you're trying to seduce me. And remember, life is like a box of chocolates. You just peek under the cover, and it'll tell you everything you need to know. There we have the greased lightning being piloted by Mr. John Travolta. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. Don't, don't slap me, okay? What's your favorite captain? Mine is Captain Crunch. There's the Swayze dog. He's uh, walking on this... Uh, on a on a on a on a log in the middle of a stream. I think this might be from uh, Dirty Dancing. We got Sylvester Stallone's Rocky over here. Let's see what props we have. Oh, look at this! All right, Let's see if I could uh, beat Rock, Rocky in a uh, in a punch fight. You see, Rocky's talent is that he he he's a good bo He's not really a good boxer. He's just, he's, he's, he can just take the, the most punches to the face of anyone alive. See, in the, in the movie, he like, he boxes, but he literally like does no defensive moves. He just lets the other boxer punch him in the face endlessly, and apparently he just absorbs it until they literally get tired of punching him. Here's one of my favorite figures here, the Edward Scissorhands, here in his beauty salon where he would cut the hair of the different women in the community. I remember seeing this movie as a young child, but having a very, having a very uh, emotional impact on me. Definitely uh, one of my uh, favorites of all time. And chop some wood here with uh, Jackie Chan. Cut! That was terrible. You see, director Quentin Tarantino artistically framing a shot of his famous a actress, Mrs. Uh, Uma Thurman. Look at the props they give us for uh, for Kill Bill with Uma Thurman. And there's Martin Scorsese. What movie did he uh, direct again? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. Hunger Games. And finally, I can look a wax Bruce Willis in the eyes and say yes, 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 I have seen Die Hard and I hope you're doing okay, buddy. Heard, uh, heard you've had some rough times. And Jack Nicholson's over here just uh, hanging out, smoking a cigar in a movie theater. Oh, and there's my friend E.T. here in the classic uh, E.T. photo op. Wax museums, you know, sometimes can be a little creepy. You look over your shoulder, and you think you see someone standing there. You see this whole room full of people that are not, in fact, people. Into the sci-fi section. And look at that, hasta la vista, baby. You got uh, Arnold. And I mentioned this, uh, this King Kong used to be 
outside uh, on the street so you could pose with it. I'm glad to see it still exists. You just have to come inside to see it so you can pose in the grasp of his mighty hand. Here we head into the 90s room. All things 90s in this room. I guess we have a uh, king of the 90s, Michael Jackson there in the center. We got Snoop Dogg there with uh, well, look at his microphone, his custom microphone there that says his name. We have uh, Miss Britney Spears here. She indeed did uh, show up in uh, in the 90s. There is uh, singer Selena who was tragically murdered in the 90s. Here's Pierce Bronson with his uh, magic telephone booth. And Miss 90s herself, Sarah Michelle Geller. They have a 90s uh, bedroom set up here with some various 90s objects, including a see-through fanny pack and a see-through phone. Apparently we like to see through things in the 90s. Me and my brother, we actually had this uh, this Ren doll here. If you used to squeeze him, he used to used to make flatulence, but this one doesn't seem to work anymore. And Mr. Tupac here also tragically murdered in the 90s. A dangerous time to be a singer. And there is the woman herself, Madame Tussaud, sculpting a uh, wax head there. Not sure whose head that is. But she actually got her start uh, making uh, wax replicas of severed heads during the French Revolution. Here we have the behind the scenes section where it finally answers the question, how do you make a Beyonce? You start out here with the wire frame and then uh, you have to carve the head out of clay. And I've been told the wax figures, wax figures are all about the heads. The heads are the, 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 the valuable part of a wax figure because underneath they all look, they all look the same. The heads are what's money. Now we end here in the Marvel section. They do have a 4D movie, but we're gonna skip that today. We do got some figures though. There's Spider-Man there on the floor. And there we have uh, Thor, as well as Captain America. And then Samuel L. Jackson over here as Nick Fury. And Tony Stark's over here in the corner, but looks like he forgot, uh, forgot his suit. So that was Madame Tussauds here on Hollywood Boulevard. But our waxy evening is not over because we're going to walk down the street just a little bit and visit the Hollywood Wax Museum. And as we walk down the Walk of Fame here along Hollywood Boulevard, you can see that the street here in front of the uh, in front of Madame Tussauds, in front of the Chinese Theater here, that street is actually closed off. And it's my understanding, I think they're They've closed it off for the upcoming uh, Academy Award ceremony. It's going to be happening uh, sometime soon. When I'm out here, I get uh, transfixed. I don't ever watch where I'm going because I'm too busy reading names off of the sidewalk. Yeah, look at all those. Look at all those names. There's Tom Selleck star right there. You can see here, in addition to closing the street off, they have this structure built over the street right here. I guess it's all just uh, part of the Academy Awards ceremony. I guess they shut down uh, a lot of stuff in this area for uh, for the big, uh, the big awards show. Now this is the Dolby Theater here. This is where they're going to be having the Academy Awards. You see they're hanging up some, uh, some drapes in preparation. And there is the Hollywood Wax Museum. Now they do have Hollywood Wax Museums in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, but this here is the original. And here at the Hollywood Wax Museum, they do have a giant King Kong as well over here in the lobby. You can see him uh, bursting through this building with his fist coming out the window there. As we enter here past 
replica of the Hollywood sign. Whitney Houston greets us as we enter. And we have this surfer here, or paddleboarder rather. I don't know who this is here. It looks like the, uh, is that the Santa Monica Pier behind him? That is a happy, uh, happy paddleboarder there. And we have this massive pirate ship right here. Let's see who's on the pirate ship. Oh, it's, uh, it's Johnny, <laughs> it's, it's Johnny Depp, but he's, for some reason he's not, uh, he's not in his Jack Sparrow form. He's actually just in his, uh, Johnny Depp form here, just hanging out, uh, on a pirate ship. Although if you want to dress like a pirate, there's uh, some pirate gear here on the prop station. Then we have uh, Nicolas Cage. And I think that is in his uh, natural treasure outfit there. Um, uh, I really saw that he was gonna be playing Dracula in an upcoming movie, which looked pretty fun. We have a Night at the Improv featuring Will Ferrell there in his famous money suit. And uh, hanging out here with some other comedians. We got Adam Sandler there pointing at his own face. And then uh, Mr. Eddie Murphy there as well. And here we have some, uh, some celebrities. There is uh, Kevin Hart and uh, Melissa McCarthy with I, their wax, well, not very many wax figures have their mouth opened like that. And then uh, Mr. Seth Rogen as well. All right, we need to make a choice. Are we gonna go through the horror chamber or are we gonna see the wax museum? Well, I'd like to, I'd like to actually see both, but we'll start, uh, start with the horror chamber. And right here at the beginning of the horror chamber, we are uh, greeted by Mr. Hellboy. And we got some devilish props here to pose with Hellboy. Are you having a delightfully hellish evening there, Mr. Boy? There we have uh, the Bela Lugosi Dracula figure. Let's see what props we have uh, for Mr. Dracula here. Oh, we just have these, these, these crosses. Back, back you foul beast. Stay back, no sucking my blood. Back. Here we have uh, Frankenstein. And let's see what props Mr. Frankenstein has. Oh, it's a lab coat and a stethoscope. So I guess you can uh, play the role of his father, Dr. Frankenstein. All right, we got our stethoscope here. Let's see. Oh no, Frankenstein, you have a, you have a very irregular and monstrous heartbeat. And as, I, as I'm thinking, I can't believe I put these in my ears. You can imagine how many ears those have been in. What is wrong with me? So we head down this ghoulish hallway here. Oh, look at that. Chucky and his bride there. We have an alien egg pustule here. And we can kind of see the, uh, the uh, life cycle of the alien there. They hatch out of an egg. And then uh, the, what hatches out of an egg is these, these face huggers. Then they hug your face. And then after they hug your face, a little tiny alien jumps out of your stomach. This is all very, very complicated. And then in like 15 minutes, the, uh, the, the little tiny creature grows up to be this monstrous, monstrous beast. And, uh, and there's the predator. Sometimes, sometimes these guys like to, like to fight each other. Oh, so much devilishness here at the Hollywood Wax Museum. You got, uh, this is, uh, this is, this guy's, I know people always correct me, he's not technically the devil, he's a different character, but he looks like the devil to me. And then some sort of horrific swamp witch there. I'm gonna reach over here to the prop station, I guess. Oh, we have these, uh, chalices. I guess the, we have to, uh, we have to, uh, give cheers to, uh, to the devil. All right, it's getting, Spookier and spookier. I don't know if there's actually any jump scares in here or not. Oh, okay. Got uh, our friend Leatherface there. What's he? Oh no, he's got uh, this poor woman chained to the wall there. Hopefully he doesn't do anything horrific with that chainsaw. And in here there's Mr. Uh, Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter. They got a, they got a, uh, 
a straight jacket here as well that you can uh, try on. Never thought I'd be uh, trying on two different uh, straight jackets in the same night with two different Hannibal actors. So you know how you get this. You get this on. Yeah. Oh, it's mess. It's kind of stinky. I think I kind of, I don't know, I think I may need someone else to uh, help me put this on, but anyways. Oh, all right, Hannibal Lecter. We're, we're both in straight jackets. I wish I had one of those cool masks, though. Over here, we just have like a random freaky clown poking his head out of the window. Here we have Arnold actually in the Chamber of Horrors. You know, that normally you'd see him uh, in the in the action section, but uh, you know, the original Terminator was absolutely a horror, a horror movie about uh, a, a murderous robot from the future. Here we have Hellraiser there with his puzzle box. Oh my gosh, there's the uh, creepy little Billy doll. And uh, if you look at that TV in the back, you can actually see that we are being recorded by the evil evil uh, jigsaw and in this chamber of horrors possibly the most horrifying creature of them all daniel craig from cowboys versus aliens oh there is something there's something really scary right there <laughs> oh my goodness i feel like these two figures are constantly compared to each other constantly appearing near each other in wax museums michael myers and Jason Voorhees. What do you guys think? Who out there is Team Jason and who is Team Michael? And here is Emma Stone from Zombieland. You can see the zombies there trying to burst through the window to get at her. And from the Chamber of Horrors, we exit into Hollywood. See some of the Hollywood landmarks there. Of course, the Dolby Theater, we were just over there. That's where they're gonna be having the Academy Awards. We've got the Hollywood Wax Museum, of course, as well as the Chinese Theater. And then right across from where we are right now, they have the uh, Guinness World Record Museum, which is in the former Hollywood Theater. You can see the parade of celebrities that will be much like the parade of celebrities that is uh, will appear when they have the Academy Awards this weekend. You got, uh, what is that, De Niro there, and then uh, Angelina Jolie. Here is the prop station where you can hand out uh, Academy Awards of your own. I'd like to uh, give you the, uh, the Academy Award for, for coolest voice. I'd like to give you the Academy Award for uh, bus driving, and uh, for you, the Academy Award in, uh, in, in, in dealing with snakes on a, a plane. And then uh, here you get uh, prettiest, prettiest woman, and uh, and uh, and and this is the award for worst Batman. We have uh, Tom Hanks sitting over here at the bar having a few drinks, so we can actually grab a drink ourselves. And uh, cheers to you, Bradley Cooper. But don't drink too much. You don't want to get a hangover. As we walk along the Walk of Fame, you know, pass through the Hollywood Bowl. And who do we have here? It's uh, it's Robert Downey Jr. Not sure, uh, not sure what, uh, what movie this is though. It's Cameron Diaz there, welcoming people to sit and uh, pose with her. Here is Jason Statham there. I think uh, he's heavily armed. I think that might be from the Expendables. And there's Mr. Liam Neeson, you gotta be careful. He's got a very specific set of skills. Again, again, why? Why would you eat breakfast at a jewelry store? Here we have a very scantily clad uh, Jennifer Lopez there. You can see Chris Pratt over here dressed like Indiana Jones, but the actual Indiana Jones is glaring at him from across the room saying, uh, I'm not done yet. Have Bruce Lee there with his infamous nunchucks. You can see uh, Bill Murray there. Although I'm looking at the uh, the background and the disco ball, and I'm thinking at some point he must have replaced Austin Powers. 
And there we have Jack Black in his most famous role as Nacho from the movie Nacho Libre. Here we have John Cena and uh, The Rock pumping, pumping some iron together, it appears. And I do notice the, uh, the Rock, they have the new, uh, the new updated bull tattoo. He had the, the iconic Brahma bull tattoo, which he got his nickname. It was kind of iconic. They used the tattoo in like all of his merchandising, but for some reason, at some point he decided he didn't want it anymore, and he covered it up with a much larger, more abstract bull. There we have the much beloved Robin Williams. We have a Jeep here crash through the wall right here next to uh, Brad Pitt. I think this is his uh, Inglorious Bastards character. And speaking of Quentin Tarantino, there is uh, there is Django from uh, Django Unchained, played by Jamie Foxx. We have Bob Marley there. And if you'd like to join him, they have some uh, some spare dreadlocks here at the prop station. Interesting fact I learned about Clint Eastwood recently is that uh, he hated smoking these cigars, his iconic uh, cigars that he smoked in the Western, said that they, uh, they made him feel sick. Johnny Cash sitting in his jail cell. He was kind of known for uh, performing in, uh, in prisons. Across the way we have the Hollywood Wax Museum's version of John Wayne. Notice uh, in the other Wax Museum they had Elvis and Marilyn together as well. And you do see them featured together a lot. Is there any actual real world connection between these two or are they just both considered to be uh, like real American icons? There is Lucy there advertising Vita, Vitamita, Vitamita Vegemin. Is that how it's pronounced? Vitamita Vegemin. Here we have uh, Frank Sinatra. And then lounging over here we have uh, Hugh Hefner just laying around in his pajamas. What do, uh, what do these men uh, have in common? Hugh Jackman, Ben Stiller, Shannon Tating, and Justin Timberlake. I'm not really sure, I, uh, but I guess we can, uh, Prop Station wants us to, uh, to which is a pick one. Uh, I, I'll give you the flowers because you were Wolverine. Yeah, between these two wax museums, it's almost like we're hitting absolute uh, celebrity overload in here. I think this is one of their newer figures. See uh, Post Malone there. You can actually read his face here. It says always tired across his face. I guess he is a, a very sleepy, very sleepy gentleman. Heading into the New York sewer system. We have the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo, Raphael, all up there. Michelangelo with his nunchucks, and uh, Donatello, the scientist of the group. Then entering the rap section, some iconic rappers, Mr. Uh, Slim Shady, Marshall Mathers, also known as Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and uh, Tupac. A little boxing section here. We have Michael Jordan, or Michael B. Jordan. He's not the basketball play player. He's not a boxer either. He's an actor, but he is playing uh, Creed in the movie Creed, the Apollo Creed son. We have the men in black up there, and uh, I don't know what's wrong with Will Smith there. He looks like he could, he looks like he could slap somebody. He's so angry. Here's Ariana Grande. You know, one time she snuck into a donut shop and licked all the donuts and uh, didn't think anyone saw her. I have Nicki Minaj and Drake here. I guess we're entering the musical section. In fact, the prop station has some microphones for us to sing with. Is that bees in the trap? Bees, bees in the trap. Bees in the trap. Bees, bees in the trap. And then uh, singer Selena. I know she does have a, a whole museum to herself. I think it's in Corpus Christi, Texas. We enter the uh, this mirrored room, almost like a fun house. In here we have uh, Rihanna, we have Katy Perry in her Wonder Woman outfit. And there's Lady Gaga, one of her crazy outfits. Actually, this one isn't too crazy. She's worn outfits made out of pure meat and one made out of Kermit's. This is pretty normal by comparison. And there we have Hannah Montana. We got Pink over here. 
And then I'm not sure if anyone knows who this person is. There's no plaque. I'm just not sure who that is. If you know who that is, leave a comment in the comment section. And then Taylor Swift shaking it off, if you will. And as we prepare to leave the Hollywood Wax Museum, we say goodbye to Mr. Prince. And there you have it. We have visited both Madame Tussauds Wax Museum as well as the Hollywood Wax Museum in one evening here in uh, Hollywood, California. And uh, let me know your opinion. I showed you guys the two different wax museums. Let me know what you think, which one you think is best. What are your opinions? What do you think the differences or similarities are? There definitely is a lot of crossover with figures. I noticed a lot of certain celebrities seem to have uh, have wax figures made more than others. But uh, yeah, as far as which one I like better, it, it's very difficult for me to say. I think I will say, I feel that um, that the Madame Tussauds has the edge when it comes to quality, but I think Hollywood Wax Museum just has a bonkers factor, a, a, a weirdness to it that makes that, that makes it uh, really enjoyable, kind of in a different in a different sort of way. So I, I definitely think either one. You know, you may have a preference on what type of wax museum you want, but I think both are uh, are worth your visit if you are here on the Hollywood Boulevard. Of course, lots of fun to be had out here on uh, the boulevard. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and w watching all these different wax figures. It's been an incredibly waxy evening here on uh, on the Carpetbagger channel. Possibly the waxiest episode of the Carpetbagger. But uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Uh, let you know when new videos arrive. If you uh, would like to contribute to the channel, consider donating to Patreon, $3 or more. We get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, and I am now on Cameo. So I can do personalized messages, greetings, all that, and all that information is in the description of this video. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.